Danny Hysocker with Colony helping people do their business better. Today we're joined by Trevor Rush, a senior product manager at Logitech. And today we're going to talk about something that is near and dear to everyone right now as we start heading back into this new normal of hybrid work. One of the things that we were just talking about, Trevor and I, you have folks working in an office, you have folks working remote, remotely, so you have these disparate teams. So how on earth does IT manage all these different devices? And so Trevor, my first question for you, why the need for remote device management in the hybrid workplace? I think you kind of just almost said it in the question there, but you know, with the trend today of adopting hybrid work here, you know, you're gonna have some teams that are in the office and some that are remote. So collaborating is hugely important in these scenarios and making sure that the tools that your team needs to collaborate is and make sure that they're up and running is hugely important. So by having a tool at your fingertips to make sure that you know your devices are up and running, up to date, and have um, you know have all the features on that you want is extremely important. Yeah, because um, it, it, it's I don't know, like I said, it, it's been a challenge getting organizations to understand the importance of you know, being able to manage all these devices uh, remotely, uh, especially now uh, in the current landscape. So when it comes to Logitech, you guys have your device management software that you guys call Logitech Sync. So what is Logitech Sync? Yeah, so Sync is our cloud-based management platform for all of the video conferencing equipment that we have. So this really is kind of has like three pillars, I would say. So monitoring, first of all. So this is all about understanding that your rooms are up and running and ready for a meeting. So it can tell you, you know, if your meeting rooms are offline, if all of the components that you're expecting to be there are there and connected. For example, you know, mic pods being disconnected, you'll get notified, make sure that everything is up and running and you're not surprised by anything. Second of all, management. So being able to make sure that your devices are always up to date uh, is crucial. So being able to push out these firmware updates to your devices in just a couple of clicks worldwide makes it super simple. And that also kind of covers changing settings. Like for example, our right site auto framing technology can figure that remotely through your rooms to make sure you have a perfect experience. Third of all, insights. So insights is all about understanding actually how your meeting rooms are being utilized on a day-to-day -day basis. We gather a couple of pieces of information. So we understand when your meeting rooms are actually in use and then how many people are in the meeting room. So by gathering this information, we can give you a pretty good look at like what your rooms are being used for on a day-to-day -day basis. So for example, you know, are your uh, boardrooms pretty empty and nobody really uses them? Or are your huddle rooms being jam-packed all day long beyond their capacity? So that type of information. Nice. Uh, and should they still use Sync if they're using video conference, uh, conferencing service providers, dashboard or console? Yeah, definitely. So I think that the, they, they complement each other very well, actually. So this is a common question I get all the time. Mm -hmm. And I think that there's actually very little overlap currently on what these dashboards provide to you. So as I mentioned, kind of the, the features there with Logitech Sync, they're really about the, the physical space and you know the, the devices that you have in the room and making sure everything's up and running and gathering analytics directly from the room, where with the, the service provider platforms, you can still go and get all that information about, you know, uh, app usage, like call quality and all, all those types of things, all the booking information and things like that for your room. So I think that they work very well together to kind of provide you the whole picture of how the, the eating room experience is going. All right, and uh, what's the end result a customer should expect once all the rooms and devices are registered to sync? Yeah, honestly, it's just time saving is the biggest one for sure. So. Uh, like historically, this would be somebody running around every single meeting room, making sure that everything's okay in the morning before everybody gets there, you know, running around with a laptop, connecting it, plugging things in, you know, so this is, this is saving that person. I mean, a lot of, a lot of, uh, miles on their shoes and also a lot of, the, you know, company time and money. So I think that's what you'll see, uh, first and foremost. And then uh, in addition to that, like the analytics that we were talking about gathering, room occupancy and things like that to kind of take it one step further, uh, I think that you'll see a lot of immediate benefits. All right, so, and again, this is what we're talking about. So one of the challenges that we've had is getting organizations to adopt uh, any kind of device management software. So what kinds of organizations should be using Sync? 
Yeah, I think that, you know, we just talked about, you know, like what are the immediate benefits you can see? And I think that any size of organization would benefit from using sync. So if you're, you know, just have a few rooms to hundreds of rooms, to thousands of rooms, I think that that would see the immediate benefit and uh, honestly, peace of mind of using a platform like sync to manage all of your devices in your meeting rooms. Uh, I think that like, yeah, like you mentioned, you know, how, how do we get you, you to, you know, feel comfortable and sort of move forward with that deployment of, of sync. I think that we've got a lot of great, uh, a lot of great collateral and stuff like that that we can that's very accessible now for for folks to go and learn about it so we've got um a couple of white papers up on our site that you can go download to learn either more about the features or to start diving into security and privacy if that's what your team is interested in learning more about up front you know we're talking about you know working from home and so for example i have my logitech brew here running is, is that something and then of course you guys have your lot of things on the wired and wireless headsets uh, that you've introduced uh, is that something that Sync can manage today or will it be able to manage in the future? Yeah, so it's actually something that's underway right now. So uh, that's actually yeah, one of our big projects for this year that the team is working on. So being able to provide that remote management capability of the personal collaboration devices. So yeah, like you said, headsets and webcams. So main, the, the two kind of main use cases that we're kind of covering up front is, you know, understanding, you know, what do you have deployed out there? A lot of teams actually don't know how many webcams and headsets that they have deployed out to their users and if they're actually being used. Second of all, making sure that you can push those critical firmware updates out to those devices, because a lot of times, too, you know, users will just get these and they'll just use them. And, you know, if you, you can email them as many times as you want, but they, they're not going to update those devices. So making it easy and convenient for IT managers to get those updates out to the users to have the best experience possible is, is very important. So those are those kind of a little preview into what we're working on. Will remote employees need to use Sync to configure their personal collaboration devices? Uh, good question. Uh, no. Uh, so we actually have an application available today called Tune. So this is what the, the end users, you and I sit at our desk and go download. So I can go, so I have it right now, but uh, I, that's where I went in before here to configure, make sure my Brio looks good. I, I zoomed in a little bit so you can't see my Peloton over here. Uh, <laughs> I, I make sure that all, that all the sound and audio is good here. So that's what the end user will use. And that's actually what the application that will connect back up to sync. We're authorized Logitech partners, and so one of the things that uh, I don't think customers understand beyond the meeting space, right? So Logitech has uh, video collaboration solutions that cover everything from the desktop all the way through the largest meeting spaces, uh, whether it's a personal webcam, wireless headset, a corded headset. But one of the cool things that we were discussing earlier is the Logitech Switch. You guys need to stay tuned because we are going to do a video featuring the Logitech Switch, which is a fantastic solution that Logitech has introduced. Uh, I've personally set it up and it really is amazing to just walk into a room uh, and, and plug in a Windows or Mac uh, laptop and it just connects to all the existing uh, audio and video hardware that's in the room and the even the displays and the monitors and whatever else uh, and then the other cool thing that Logitech has recently introduced is the scribe right because whiteboards aren't going away and scribe is one of those things that will offer that um, because from what i've seen it actually makes the whiteboard look better so awesome yeah. folks on the remote end right <clears throat> right so it, it's, a, it's a really great solution and so if you need to learn more about those uh, feel free to reach out to us. All our contact information is going to be in the description box below. Uh, but Trevor, thank you so much for uh, sitting here with me and kind of going through this Q&A uh, so people learn more about Sync. Yeah, happy to be here. Thank you very much, Danny. All right.